Hey, I'm Tim Andrews. I'm Thomas Grefley. And together, we're Tim, Tom, the ATs. Today, we're going to be doing the Buffalo Concussion Treadmill Test. Before the test begins, we're going to need an evaluation form, a clipboard, an RPE chart, a heart rate monitor, a treadmill, and a patient. Hi, right, Tom. You've already taken your SCAT 5, so, and it's been 24 to 48 hours uh, after your concussion, so we're going to do a BCTT, Buffalo Concussion Treadmill Test. Uh, so before we get started and get some baseline scores, what is your uh, symptom score on a scale of 0 to 10? 4. 4. What is your resting heart rate right now? 70. 70. Okay. So every 2 minutes we're going to be checking your heart rate. Every minute we're going to be asking for your rate of perceived exertion on a scale of 6 to 20. Uh, and uh, we're going to increase the incline from 0% to 1% uh, after 2 minutes. And then every minute we're going to increase by 1%. And then we're going to start with your speed at 3.6 because you're over 5.5 and you're athletic. Any questions before we get started? Let's do this. All right, Tom, it's been one minute. Can you tell me what your symptom score is on a scale of 0 to 10? 4. 4. Score of 4. Good. Can you tell me what your rate of perceived exertion is? 6. 6. Not working that hard. All right, good. Hi, right, Tom. It's been two minutes. Can you tell me what your heart rate is? 75. Great. Increase the incline by 1%. And then can you tell me what your symptom score is? Four. Four. And your RPE? Six. Six. It's been another minute. What's your symptom score? Seven. Ooh, what's your RPE? 19. So your symptom score has increased by three, and your RPE is now 19? You gotta stop this test. Stop the test. Stop. Now that we've done the BCT and we've collected our data, what does this all mean? So from an evaluation standpoint, we can assume that concussion is not a physiological pathway if they can exercise to exhaustion without an increase in concussion symptoms, and if their high rate threshold is greater than 135 beats per minute, even after high exertion. Uh, a low heart rate threshold is significantly associated with uh, a longer term uh, return to recovery. And then it also helps us in our treatment. So we can use the heart rate reading at the onset of symptoms to direct treatment protocols. For instance, we can take uh, an exercise prescription of an 80% max heart rate uh, for our active recovery, and that can structure our active recovery, whether that be uh, biking, treadmill, swimming, et cetera. Uh, then we can have the exercise increased by five to 10 beats per minute per week. Um, and the BCTT can be repeated every two weeks for very long-term cases.